number one Iron Age booty daddy. The massive news update about Fox News and Tucker Carlson dropped like a major news bomb. And within minutes, every YouTube channel out there, every news article, writer, news magazine, news rag, news anything, decided that they were going to cover it to try to be the first. Now, one of the reasons that I'm covering this is because I do want to lean more into the entertainment side of things lately, but this is a major thing, and I wanted to give my spin on the story. So as the news developed through the day, again, I'm sure you guys heard, Tucker Carlson is no longer at Fox. Now, it wasn't like, oh, he's not going to be, he's going to do one more. No, he did his show on Friday over the weekend. They got rid of him, came back, said his last show was Friday. No goodbye to his audience the whole nine, which is... Fairly egregious, even on, uh, uh, even even for the media standards, right? That's not generally something that happens very frequently. Now, over the day, we've heard that. Oh, obviously, there was the Dominion thing. You had, um, you had Fox News do, um, reach a settlement, right? A settlement of like oh, like three quarters of a billion dollars or something like that with Dominion, uh, the voting stuff. And a lot of people were like, oh, well, it was probably Tucker Carlson for that. They probably hit him for that. Then more news is coming out saying, oh, there was uh, some person that worked on a show and it's all related to sexism. And ultimately, I don't believe it's any of those things. I think it is something entirely different. I think that... The reason that Tucker Carlson was kicked out of Fox is because, one... He was one of the few guys that was allowed to say certain things on the right that other people really weren't allowed to say. I mean, for instance, the Daily Wire is fairly tepid in comparison to, you know, what Carlson would say. Now, I wouldn't say that Carl, uh, Tucker Carlson is as far as Alex Jones by any stretch of the imagination, but definitely for being on primetime television and being the number one one uh, political news show, political news anchor in that time slot for the last, I don't know how many years, it was definitely something that was kind of curious to all of us. Like, well, how can they really like say that these media companies are definitely in bed if Tucker Carlson is out there saying some of the things that he's saying? And obviously he would go out, he'd run the podcast circuit. He's been on many podcasts, uh, larger, smaller, and by smaller, like, I mean, Tucker Carlson's not coming on this show. This show's way too small. But what I believe is happening is the shareholders and the banking institutions have finally got to a point where they have flat out said, get him gone, okay? The shareholders, uh, and it's been widely known for a very long time, the owners of CNN are the owners of Fox News. You can go and you can look back at all the shareholders, and for the most part, they share a lot of the people who share the highest dollars ownership in these companies, as they are publicly traded companies, tend to be the same lot of people. I do believe that this outs Fox as something that I have been calling them for years, controlled opposition, right? Fox News is designed 100% to make the people who I guess are more on my side of the aisle believe that they actually have a mainstream news organization that agrees with them, philosophi ah, philosophizes with them, phil phil philosophic. You, you understand what I'm saying. And what this has done is it has been able to take information, distill it in a way that has a very leftist slant and deliver it to Republicans to try to shift the Republican Overton window to a degree that ultimately brings everybody closer to Marxism. This is why I believe that Tucker Carlson was absolutely ousted. I do not believe that the main reason was this lawsuit that supposedly says sexism that uh, seems uh, that seems too convenient. Uh, the Dominion voting thing with the billion dollars that they lost. Well, they just saw a billion dollar hit today in the stock for him leaving. Um, so I don't think it was that because obviously, why would they want to lose more money by losing Tucker Carlson? Well, they lost. He lost us a billion dollars. Well, yeah, but he's also going to make you a lot more than that over his tenure like and has. Um, 
I am not sure where his advertisers were, how many advertisers were on the Tucker Carlson show. I do know that his ratings were quite high, but I'm not sure if the advertisers were still there, predominantly because most advertisers will pull out if you're saying things that Tucker Carlson is saying. Again, this does go back to a lot of people that are influencing the banking and institutions, uh, really pushing for what's known as the environmental and uh, the environmental and social governance clauses. Now, the environmental and social governance clauses, as far as banking institutions are concerned, are those pesky little things that go in there and definitely push Marxist ideology. They definitely push human depopulation ideology as well as the great climate scam ideology. Now, once you bake these into the financial institutions, anybody who doesn't play by those rules or goes against those rules tends to get ousted fairly quickly. It was very surprising that Carlson was actually on the air as long as he was saying the things that he was. And again, he's not out there saying things that are as crazy as some of the things that Alex Jones says. That's it, just, that's the case. But he does go out there and he does raise a lot of questions that are very uncomfortable for the media, highly uncomfortable for the Republicans and the Democrats in power, and extremely uncomfortable for anybody trying to really push the uniparty Marxist leftist message. Ultimately, they are using a plethora of excuses at this point to say why they let him go. And really, the ultimate reason is that, well, we just can't have somebody speaking those kind of truths or asking those kind of questions and give the American people the idea to even ask those questions. You see, the news media and the news organizations are largely designed to steer the conversation in the U.S. And you cannot have a man like Carlson steering that kind of conversation. So they'll eliminate him on the massive news network. It will be harder for him to be found online, although I believe that the man's going to be fine financially. I think many, many, many Americans will not tune out of Fox News. They will go along with the leftist Marxist messaging of Fox News. And ultimately, the Overton window of what freedom is will keep shifting. Ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you guys think about this whole topic down below. I want your thoughts on this. I want you to tell me what you think in the comments. Am I a little too far out there? Did I go too far talking about all of the wonderful banking institutions and essentially what I believe is some of the rich and powerful elites out there trying to take us back to some version of a feudalist system? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Don't forget to hit subscribe, ring the notification bell, and like this video for me. That would be wonderful. And never forget, I dedicate a special live stream to all those that comment every single Sunday. So until next time, cheers, everybody. Thank you all so much for checking out this video. And I would ask, beg, borrow, and steal just to get you guys to click the links down in the description below to join my Gilded server and my drinkwithcrazy.locals.com. Oh, and by the way, just in case you guys didn't know, I'm also over on Rumble as well, so click that link while you're down there. See you next time.